Number 22. Which of the following is closest to half? 0 0.5. Now let's look at the answer choices first. As you can see, they're all fractions except for d. So I need to rewrite d as a fraction so that I can compare them easily. So 0 0.4 is 4 over 10. 0 0.4 is 4 over 10. Now if you simplify 4 over 10, divide up and down by 2, you get 2 over 5. So 0 0.4 can be rewritten as 2 over 5. Now I have 5 fractions. The question is, which of the following is closest to half? So using the word closest here means that you don't need to find the value of each of these fractions. You just need to know which one is closest to half. The number closest to any other number is the one that has the smallest difference between it and that number. So basically, in order to answer this question really quickly, there must be some kind of trick. Now, if you look at the answers really closely, you'll find something. You'll find that all of these numbers in the answer choices are 1 over their denominator far away from half. What does that mean? Let me show you. For a, I'm going to write half 0 0.5, which is what we're looking for um, in, in terms of what is closest to it, as something over 40. So what's half something over 40? It's 20 over 40. Isn't that half? Now look here. The difference between 19 over 40 and 20 over 40 is how much? It's 20 over 40 minus 19 over 40, meaning it is 1 over 40. So for answer choice A, the difference between 19 over 40 and half, which is what we're looking for, is 1 over 40. Now, similarly, B, we can write half as 8 over 16. 8 over 16. What's the difference between 7 over 16 and 8 over 16, which is half? It's, again, 1 over 16. Okay, so now i found the trick. Let's do this to C as well. Half here would be 16 over 32, and the difference would be 1 over 32. Okay, now let's do the same thing with D. Over 5 would be 2 and a half over 5. That's half, right? Because 2.5 is half of 5. So how far away is 2 fifths from 2.5 over 5? It is 0.5 over 5. But wait a minute. All of the answers here, or all of the differences in purple, are 1 over something. So all I need to do is multiply this by 2. Multiply 0 0.5 by 2, you get 1 and multiply 5 by 2, you get 10. So the difference is 1 tenth, okay? Now let's write this in purple so that we know this is the same difference we're looking for. So the difference in D between 0 0.4 and half is 1 tenth. Then let's do the same thing with E. Half with a denominator of 64 is 32 over 64. And the difference between 31 over 64 and 32 over 64 is 1 over 64. Okay, this way it's really easy and really simple, really quick. Okay, of course, I took some time to explain it, but it's really easy on the test. So the difference between A and half is 1 over 40. And the difference between B and half is 1 over 16. The difference between C and half is 1 over 32. The difference between D and half is 1 over 10. The difference between E and half is 1 over 64. Now, the number that has the smallest difference will be the closest one to half. Now, which of these is the smallest? The smallest is the one with the biggest denominator. So 1 over 64 is the smallest difference, the smallest value. Therefore, E is the closest number to 0 0.5 or half. Okay, let's do number 23. The announcement read... Buy three phones at the regular price and get any more phones for only half the price. John paid $320 for five phones. What is the regular price of a phone? Okay, so the announcement says, 
buy three phones at the regular price. So three phones times P, which is the price, correct? And get any more phones for only half the price. Now we know that John bought five phones. That means he bought three for the regular price and he bought two at half price. So three times P, which is the regular price, plus two phones times the regular price over two, half the regular price, equals how much he paid, which is $320. Now, the two here can be simplified with the two here. They cancel out. So I'm left with 3P plus 1P, which is 4P, equals $320. Therefore, P equals $320 divided by 4. 320 divided by 4 is 80. So the answer is $80. Where's $80 here? Answer choice B. Okay. Now you can always check your answer, of course, uh, to make sure that you did your calculations correctly. Number 24. If A at B, that's just a symbol, could be anything else, could be a star, could be whatever. If A at B means A plus B all times half, then 3 at 5 all at 8 equals what? Okay, first thing, I'll start with this. So I take 3 at sign 5 equals. It's A, the first thing, which is 3 here, plus B, the second number, which is 5 here, all times half. Okay, order of operations. Remember what's in parentheses first. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 times half is 4. So 3 at 5 right here is actually equal to 4. So my new problem is 4 instead of this parentheses right here at 8, which is right here, equals. The first one, A, which is 4, plus B, which is 8, in my case, times half. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 times half is 6. Okay? So the answer will be 6A.